morning there, Private Practice Success Community. Welcome to the Friday morning walk right here from the beach. This is what I think is one of the most gorgeous beaches in Australia, if not the world. And I'm super lucky to call this my backyard. <laughs> so I wanted to hop in here, say hello. Hope you are having a great end to your working week. It is Friday, what's not to love about it, right? Also a quick heads up. I have been telling you if you are in my Facebook group, I think I've let you know if you are on my email list, but you might have missed it because I know how busy you are. So throughout the course of this year, people have often reached out to me expressing interest in the Prior Practice Success Academy. I know I need some business coaching and mentoring. For a lot of people, the timing just wasn't right. Between me and you, the timing is never right until you decide, until you make the decision that it's right. That's a different topic of discussion. Anyhow, if you know whether you are ready or not, if you know that the timing is ready or not, but you know that as a clever, switched on, private practice owner, you need to recession proof your practice, you need to be proactive, and you need to be strategic, and you need to step into a mindset, not of hiding, but from stepping forward and taking on the, taking on the challenge of getting you, your team, all the clients you serve, and you and your family, and you and your business through the recession, then you need to start accepting help. Then you need to acknowledge that, I don't know what I don't know. And even though I think I'm pretty glued on, and even though I know I haven't done too shabby of a job building this business full of private practice, that there's always another level. There's always something I'm not seeing because I'm too close to it, right? I am such a true believer in constant learning, constant growth. Even I myself still do business coaching and mentoring because I know there's always another level. And you know what? I deserve to get to the another level. And so do you. But we need help to get there. Sometimes we need to stand on the shoulders of giants. All of us should have at least one giant in our world. Giants is this. They're really big and they're tall. Their shoulders are really high. So it might seem scary at first going, yeah, I'm going to climb up there. I'm going to stand on those shoulders. It might feel uncomfortable, like, oh, I don't know whether I want to stand on somebody else's shoulders, right? But you know what? Once you get up there to the top, guess what happens? You get to see further than you've ever seen before. You get to see what is possible for you and your practice and your team, your family, your community, the community of clients that you serve. You get to see over the next hill. You get to see all the amazing stuff that you can do. Instead of being over here, tripping over your own feet because you're having to deal with challenges that you've never had to face. So to wrap this up, I'm happy to be your giant. I'm happy for you to come stand on my shoulders. That's what I do. It's my day job. And guess what? If you come and join me in the Private Practice Success Academy, I'm gonna be your giant. We've got other private practice business coaches and mentors in there. They're looking forward to being your giant. There's other like-minded private practice owners in there that can't wait to lift you up. And we all do that for one another. I, I, what's the word, dare? No, I challenge you to find another community like the Private Practice Success Academy. Until you've been in it, you won't know, of course, but it's so worth it. Though at the end of the day, it's all up to you. I can stand here like a statue and wait, wait for you and wait for you. And you can maybe go, yes, good, I see you standing over there. I've accepted your invitation, but I'm not ready. And you know, nine out of 10 times, that is fear speaking fear talking and saying that you're not ready to work with Gerda, you're not ready to be in the academy, who do you think you are to have that success? 
Or maybe you are thinking, you know, I don't know whether I can deal with that. What's the implement, uh, the implications of success going to be on my life? You know, is it going to have some unexpected implications? How's the people around me going to react to it? Am I willing and able to deal with that? You know, there's a lot of fear of failure out there. Poor poppy syndrome out there. Don't let that hold you back. Fuck that, I say. You know, yes, I get a lot of slack for it sometimes. Being a bit of poor pot. <laughs> can't even say it. That's how little I care about it. For being a tall poppy within the industry, specifically the mental health private practice industry. You know what? It's okay. If that means that I take most of the heat to allow others like yourself to grow and to blossom into what you have always meant to become, then so be it. I'm well rooted. I can take it, but it's up to you. You need to come and say yes. You need to come and join us. So the Private Practice Success Academy is now open. We have some space available. The membership uh, fees are going up on the 10th of December. Are you in? Are you joining us? And are you making use of a big saving? Because the fees are going up on the 10th of December. Not really fees, right? It's an investment into you, your practice, your team, your clients, your community, your family, your future, your legacy. And I guarantee that you'll get a return on your investment. If you implement, of course, what I share with you and what I teach you. And you know what? The implementation is so much easier in the academy because there's a lot of done for you stuff, these strategies, processes, things in place. All you need to do is say yes. So reach out. Can't wait to talk to you. I uh, can't wait to see whether you will be a great fit for our community. And yeah, deadline 10 December. Well, actually, the 9th because the uh, fees do go up on the 10th. Reach out now.